Hurricane Irma, a record-breaking and potentially catastrophic storm is heading closer to the U.S. mainland. This video from Darlene Chinnery shows the damage that was caused by Irma in the British Virgin Islands. Channel 2's Lauren Freeman is live in the newsroom with more. Lauren. That's right. Many in Florida are now preparing for the impact that Irma could have once it hits. And just hours ago, the governor of South Carolina declared a state of emergency ahead of this monster storm. The first strike overnight on the island of Barbuda. The wind, the rain, everything is going into that direction. Sheets of rain and wind gusts of at least 155 miles an hour as Hurricane Irma chewed through the Virgin Islands towards Puerto Rico, leaving destruction and flooding in its wake. The storm now considered the strongest on record ever in the Atlantic. A massive monster of a storm on a collision course with Florida. The storm is bigger, faster and stronger than Hurricane Andrew. A storm of this size could have effect statewide and everybody should be prepared. Evacuations are underway in the Florida Keys and millions across the state are heeding the dire warnings, boarding up and stocking up, leaving some shelves bare. A run on supplies leading to long lines at the pumps, some stations temporarily out of gas. And at hardware stores, plywood is at a premium. It's getting low. I mean, look. Stores and the governor promising more is on the way. You visited the store yesterday and found a shortage. You should go back today to get your supplies once everything has been replenished. Filling carts and sandbags in preparation. That's the nice thing about a hurricane. Like, you can prepare for a long period of time. Before that time starts to run out. Preparations for Irma are also affecting the sports world now. The NFL has moved the Miami Dolphins game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to November. The teams are scheduled to play this Sunday in Miami. Keith. All right, Lauren, thank you. There